Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another mod showcase on the channel. Now for today, I'm going to be running you through, which is essentially the replacement for the Dragon Mounts 2 mod. So the creators of Dragon Mounts 2 uh, have taken themselves uh, pretty much away from that project. They're not updating that anymore and they're focusing primarily on this mod now which is the whim roost mod this is the latest dragon mod you'll find for minecraft it is for 1.15.2 at the moment and they are saying they will update or upgrade it to um any future needed ports for us uh this is their very much uh alpha beta version this it's got a lot more to come to it guys so you're going to bear with this mod because it will be phenomenal i know loads of you love the dragon mounts 2 mod and you can protest to how good that mod is and these are the exact exact creators so guys before we fully jump into it today make sure to like and subscribe on today's video hit that notification bell all of that good jazz uh yeah so let's waste no further time and get into this so first up today, I'm going to be talking to you about the items and there are very, very strong items that have been added and these are called the geodes. So you'll see three of them behind us. So we turn around, we'll take a quick look at these. These are found in about one to five clusters near bedrock. And then these two, you'll find this one in the never and you'll find this one in the end. These are stronger than diamond guys, quite a bit stronger. Their items are more durable, their armors are more durable, stronger and faster. And if we take a look over here, we have their armor sets laid out here. The blue one obviously, red and purple. They are lovely looking sets of armor. They look fantastic on you as well. So we will be getting more to those in a minute. But just to backtrack, we do have another set of armor, which is the platinum armor, which is this one right here. Now, this is found in ores in the overworld, uh, only the overworld, and it is a mid-range tier between iron and diamond. So it's an upgrade from iron, but it's not as good as diamond. So it's that more middle range tier. It just adds a bit more into the mod for us. And I, th I think it's quite good and I love the look of the block. I mean, for structure building and design, that block would definitely be implemented into my building designs. I'm not sure about you guys, but I think it looks fantastic. So yeah, that is the Platinum Armor, but back onto the geodes. So not only can they be made into armor sets, so like this, this is how you'll find them. And it, they are made just like this, just standard, standard way to make armor, guys. And just so, just showing you so you know, it's nothing special. Um, they also can be turned into what is called a dragon soul crystal, which we'll get into, a dragon staff, and various other dragon related items of course it's a dragon mod guys it's gonna be it's gonna be dragon related it's always gonna be dragon related so we'll move these over here and they can also be turned into bejeweled apples or jeweled apples wherever one of those is uh let's see if i can find there we go so you are able to craft these so they are very strong indeed and they are, if it's not going to show me i will just have to show you myself so if we get out some of these, come on, that's, that's good. Let's go get an apple out. We go to crafting table. Boom, lovely. Okay, so it's made very simply, just like this. Very, very strong apples, much better than enchanted. So we'll have one of these and you'll see the abilities it gives me. So it gives me regeneration three, night vision, glowing, resistance, and absorption three. Very, very strong, very, very good indeed. But they are not easy to get a hold of because obviously these are rare items, guys. The geodes aren't just lying around. It will take a bit of hunting to find these guys. So we can get rid of these now. Oh, didn't mean to get rid of the stuff. What else it also gives you is called the Dragon Soul Crystal. Now, we will show what that does later when we get into the actual dragons, but it is crafted with an Eye of Ender and then the same crafting pattern as the Jeweled Apple. 
I'm not going to go showing that. You guys know that. Uh, I in the middle, then the four uh, geodes around it. Very simple, very nice. Let's get that staff back out. And this one, if it doesn't show us, is, yeah, okay, there we go. Made with a blaze rod and a red geo, just like that. And this, yet again, we will get on to when we take a bit of a closer look at the dragons. Now, it's going to be pretty awesome taking a quick gander at these dragons, but just another armor set before we move on. This is made from the drakes. So they will drop drake backplates, and you can use these to craft iron armor into drake armor. Very, very good. Bit stronger than diamond. Um, well, probably going to be about, it's about the same level to be perfectly honest with you, but it looks cool. So that is the main thing there. So let's waste no more time and get on with the dragons. So first dragon we are going to be looking at today is called the Silver Glider. These are one of the smaller ones in the mod, but not the smallest. Typically we found some of the smallest right here. They are pretty awesome looking dragons. As I said, not the biggest, not the smallest. They are a very mid-range sort of dragon. These are tameable as well, guys. So all you're going to need is either a tropical fish, cod, or salmon. And they are tamed the same way as how you would an ocelot. So you're going to be, well, if he doesn't fly away, you're going to slowly approach him with your fish. And you're going to feed him until he's tamed. And there we go. I feel like he's pretty, he's pretty tamed now. So, once he is tamed, he is able to sit on your shoulders, or your head in this instance, and he is able to be used like an Elytra. Boom. Works awesomely. Love it. Yeah, so, works like an Elytra, guys. Pretty awesome. Can only have one on your shoulder at one time, though. And as I said, they can be bred. But you're going to need the opposite gender. So at the moment, I've got a female one. And you can tell their genders apart because the male will have glowing spots running down his tail and down his wings. So I'll go get a male out and we'll breed one of these. And I'll show you what happens once you do that. So here we go. Let's show you how it's done. So you're going to feed that one there. And at least one needs to be standing, guys, for them to be able to mate. So... There we go, let's let's throw this one up here. No, nope, get off me. There we go. Yeah, there you go. As you saw, through the egg. Not too hot. Oh gosh, no! No, my little silver glider. We'll get rid of that. Um, yeah, we'll throw the egg into the air for you, and it will tell you the hatching time. So this one is 10 minutes. You're gonna pop this on the ground and it's gonna take its well full 10 minutes. But don't worry, if you need to leave the area, you can pick that bad boy up and it will continue on the time so it won't de it won't go back to the standard 10 minutes if it's te if you've already spent five minutes hatching it it will have five minutes remaining so that is the silver glider lovely little dragon but our first one there's big stuff yet to come so next up we have the overworld drake now these are probably one of my favorite looking dragons out of this mod so far they don't have wings or anything they can't fly but my word they are fast now these guys can be tamed very very same way as horses but instead of course horses aren't very dangerous these are they will attack you until they have been tamed and the way you do this is you just need a standard vanilla saddle you're going to pop it on that and you're going to attempt to ride it sort of like a bucking bronco and it's going to throw you off and it can kill you guys i'm not going to lie it can take a good good few attempts you're going to want strong armor on you're going to want maybe one of the geodes on definitely definitely going to want minimum diamond definitely going to want minimum diamond for this because it will throw you off in creative it won't you'll it'll just be tamed straight away uh, obviously for today i'm doing it in creative just to show you how it is done but i am warning you it will throw you off and the saddles cannot be taken back until the dragon has been killed so let's jump on this guy and show you some real speed now, dude looks absolutely amazing. He is phenomenal looking indeed. I think, oh, this could be the female one actually because the horns are slightly, slightly less uh, large compared to the males. You tell the males because they have more bluer spots along their back and their horns are slightly larger. But we'll spawn one out later for the purpose of breeding. What does make this mod great 
is that it does have the different genders, which can make it harder, but also makes it more interesting for the general mod altogether. So let's go. So this guy is a fast dude, a lot faster than any horse you'll find around. And he is fairly strong as well. And unlike the silver gliders, he will defend you to the death. So as I was saying earlier, we are going to now take a look at some of the uh, other geode items we have up for grabs. You're able to use the dragon soul crystal to actually collect the souls of your dragons. There you go, made beautifully, uh, done beautifully like that. It will tell you what dragon is being held in there, it will tell you its health, and it will tell you its owner. So as you can see there, I am the owner, it's listed my name right there. And when you want to get it out, just place it back on the ground, and it can be done like that. As you see, it looks like it's enchanted when there's a dragon in there, and obviously when it's out, straight back to normal. Now, onto the staff. Right click on the staff will allow you to access its inventory. So there you go, eventually it does work, it was just a being being a bit iffy with me for whatever reason. But there you go, that is how the dragon armor is crafted. This is the diamond version and it's the same for if you want to do the geodes. You're going to need geo blocks here, then the geo gems around here. And then you're going to just slap that bad boy on there and boom, your beautiful dragon has his armor. And you can see it's armor stats up in the left hand corner up there. Looks awesome. Continue to ride around. Continue to battle. Strong, strong dragon. Awesome looking. As I said, can be bred. So we'll get a uh, female or I think it's a, uh, I think that's the female. Uh, this looks more like the male. I'm not 100% certain here. I need a clear definition. So if, it took a took a bit of a while, but that was the female, that was the male. As you, oh, that was the male, that's the female. As you can see, the very, very slight difference in horn length. Very, very slight. Um, once you do that, it will drop you a bit of XP, and then we'll throw up the Overworld Drake egg there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to tell all these guys, if you can everybody stay, everybody stay, stay, stay here, stay. Okay, good. Now everybody stay. Uh, so yeah, so same process as the silver glider. Pop the egg down, give you a time, and boom, perfect. P pick it back up, obviously, if you're, all your pet dragons aren't absolutely pestering you. And oh gosh, they, yep, they're fighting. They're fighting him. All right, on to the next one. Now we have the roost stalkers, little flightless dragons that are be able to be found around the world. They are normally found within packs of 5 to 25, so a fairly substantial amount. They will attack you on sight, guys, so you're going to want to be careful around these small little evil dragons. But like every other dragon so far, we are able to tame these. And they are tameable by feeding them other dragon eggs because they are just like that. Another thing to note about this dragon is that it will raid your chest if you on if it's not tamed by you. And there you go. So this one is tamed by us. Obviously, it's not good. We're not going to be able to ride it, but it will ride on you. So there you go. I feel like I'm Daenerys out of well Game of Thrones. I look pretty awesome. This guy won't really do too much for you. He's just pretty cool to have around. And uh, let's go on. You can breed them. So they are breedable. And you can't, with this one, tell the difference between the genders. There is no differentiation between them. So you use gold nuggets. You're going to feed them some gold nuggets. And come on. Come on. Come on. And they're going to breed like that if one doesn't run away from the other, apparently. Are they, are they gonna go for it? Come on, come on. It's just gotta get get these gold nuggets going. Go on. Go, no, don't don't sit down. Like, guys, come on. Dude, yeah, we go. There we go. Okay. Boom. There we go. We'll drop an egg like that. As I said, same exact time with all the others, or not exact time, but same exact process as with all the others. They will all look pretty cool. So we'll throw these up there. We'll get these ones sitting on my shoulders you can get a maximum of three chilling and grilling on you which looks awesome quite frankly and uh, just if you just want to look empowering when you approach another player definitely this dragon is the one to look cool with next up we have the lesser desert wine I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly but yeah there you go these are the smallest of the dragons 
They can neither be tamed and they neither can be bred. But you find them like this and they will attack anything smaller than a wolf. Players they will actually flee from in fear. So anything about the size of a the player they will run from. So you can get them out of the desert sand just like that guys. They will try to bury themselves pretty rapidly again apart from this guy for whatever random reason. And you can pick them up. So you can pick them up like this and they will squirm and squirrel in your hand until they are placed back down. And they are also be able to be cooked alive, quite weirdly. Uh, so these are edible and they can be cooked. They aren't the best of meats but you will find an abundance of them lying around guys. They are pretty much everywhere in the desert biome. There's not a shortage of these guys. As you see we've already come across a load already. So for food wise you just need quick food, go to a desert biome, you'll find loads of these guys running around and you just need to throw them in the fire and then bish bash wash you are sorted for food. But apart from that there's nothing much more to these dragons. So on to one of the last dragons we have today is the butterfly leviathan. Found in large large ocean bodies they are the biggest of the dragons we have today. They are known as an apex. So like an apex predator, they have no wings and as I previously just stated, found mainly in the water and my word, they are extremely fast. So what you think look like wings are actually their fins. They are very strong and they are able to fight off multiple mobs for you at once, such as other dragons and the drowned if you're going through the water with them. They can come on land and that is actually the only way to tame these guys. So you have to aggravate one, get it to chase you on land, and then tame it with dried kelp or dragon meat. Uh, the meat that these guys drop, as I was going to say, I, I mentioned earlier, there are different tiers of meat. So you get the lower tier meat from the dragons we just looked at, the desert ones, and then you go up from common meat to apex meat. And obviously, there you go, you got the desert worm there. So, to sport, to well tame one of these guys, let's do it. So here we have him, and you'll tame him with the kelp. So you'll feed him dry kelp till he is tamed. So, is he tamed? Yep, boom, he is tamed. So we'll jump on this guy and we'll go take a dip. He is absolutely massive, guys. He is awesome. So let's go. Um, but don't spend too much time on him, as you will still drown. So you will still have your bubbles, but my word, as you see, he is extremely rapid. Um, he cannot be bred as of this point in time, even though if you feed him, you'll see hearts, or feed her, whatever, uh, you'll see hearts pop up. They cannot be bred, but they can be, you can obtain one of their eggs by um, right clicking them with another dragon egg and assigning that dragon egg to one of these guys. That is currently the only way to do it. So can I, uh, let's get up, let's get up here, boom. Uh, are we under the, are we in the, no, we're not quite there yet. So that is how to tame that massive apex predator. So then we have a few ones left, guys. We have the, um, where is he chilling and grilling? We have the dragon fruit, and then we have the latest one, the wyvern. So we'll take a look at the dragon fruit and yet again, like all the others, this is the male and then, oh, can we get a baby female? Let's see, nope, only gonna get, wow, it's really, really picky with, okay, there we go, the female. These guys can be bred together as well. They are known as actually one of the more aggressive ones and they are found in the jungle biome. They will nap like, just like this throughout the day at random. They just are very tired dragons, I guess. And then finally, we have the wyvern, as I was saying. Awesome little dragons found in the swamp biomes. They will attack you and they will poison you. So you've got many variations of these guys. Well, I say many, they have the most. And if you look on their wiki, they actually have customizable names, which will give them different skins to wear and have and fly around in. They look pretty awesome, I do have to say. Yet again, tameable as well. All you need to do with those guys are feed them berries. So if we get some berries out, I'll show you that right now. There you go. And then, oh, if he doesn't fly away, you can yet again have this guy chilling and grinning on you to make you feel like you're part of the Game of Thrones universe. 
But that is going to be it today, guys. I have tried to rush through this as I didn't want it to be super long and in-depth and uh, too much information thrown at you. If you do have any more questions about this mod, guys, do let me know in the comments section down below. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.